In this video, we will take a look at GitHub Actions by simply building a workflow for continuous integration CI flow. We will continue with the cross-service project that we related from the last video. Let's start creating a new workflow from WeStart. First, we need to create a GitHub workflow directory in our project so the directory don't forget the dot from the beginning is very important so it won't work if you miss it and then create a yaml file in this directory yaml file here but i will name it ci workflow And then let's copy the contents from here and paste it here. Okay, as you could imagine, this file represents a workflow. And basically, a workflow includes many jobs that run parallel by default. For example, this file only has one job that name explore GitHub action. And in each job, is have many steps. Step for example in here at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight step. So there there are eight steps in this job that run sequentially. Since we were about to build a CI workflow, we will go to copy a sample of CI workflow from here. So build and test. Yeah, if you don't know what is continuous integration is, you could take a look at it. But I will quickly do it here. Paste here. And then you can see named on jobs. So now we have a workflow that includes two jobs. One is a slog GitHub action and one is view so let's commit it and push it to see how it works so I will you know, add a CI workflow here I will commit and then I will push it We push successfully, so let's check it out on the GitHub page. So I will go to my GitHub, our GitHub workflows. Yeah, we will see our flow here. And now we move to the GitHub action. Go here. Yeah, okay. You can see we name it GitHub action demos. Yeah. And in action, yeah, we could see this one GitHub action demo. And it's you know, already run one time. So okay, let's take a look at it. So we have two job, the first job and the second job run parallel. Okay, the second job is well. You don't care about it. Take a look at the first job. As you see, you know it set up a job and you know it's a step. You know step one. As you remember, we have a step, right? But a step. The first one is bring out the the job will automatically go by github events and run on your os server hosted by github and we could check here yeah this job is now running on a linux server hosted by github the job will automatically triggered by push event yeah you could see that so it will run eight step and this is for the second job yeah it's some fail with radio yeah in so release yeah seven yeah we would took took it a little bit after okay let's back to our uh, repository so maybe we don't need to this job here we only need to your yeah, ci job so let's name it a ci ci workflow ci workflow and 
okay let's change it a little bit to make it work so we have the first step the second tab okay first step let name it name it check out check out name it check out and we set up a zdk seven auction set up driver so if you need a reference you can see here action github action set up java and okay we can okay we i agree with the distribution to marine and the version 18 using our victory here and using the action setup java action set java for the whopper since we already have it so we don't need this so new cradle we just need to run this because we already have a whopper for it here you see here we already have a whopper for it so let's run it cradle Redo clean views. Yeah, I think it's enough for here. Symbol seven. Okay, let put it again. I see I will flow. Comment and then push it again. Okay, successfully. Let's take a look. Fast. So now we trigger a new flow. Let's see, let's see view here. Set up job, check out, set up ZDK 17, view radio. View fails. What? The go application test default to the install provider. Ah, the problem is we haven't installed the Google COI, the cloud COI in the GitHub runner. So that's why we can get the credential from Google. So I think we need to just uh, in our test in this moment. Yeah, my name is test, and I will make an update again. Comment it. I push it again. Okay, let's see. Could we pass this? For this moment, <laughs> see actions. Now we check your new event and running. See set up and build radio. <coughs> Yay! It's built successfully this time. <laughs> okay, see our flow. Okay, now let's review what we did and how it gets triggered. So it's because the on block here, the on block here. So this defines the events that trigger our flow, as you can see here. Take a look at here, uh, sample here. Uh, you can see here this is for the the on block 
so it's trigger workload to run automatically when you know this push trigger workload run automatically when there's some push on the branch yeah. and for pull request so if you want to run it manually you can define a workload did patch here just just want to mention you here so let's try man i don't really you know trigger to run a workload from a push so i'll do it so i will instead i will use a pull request pull request a branch from brand main yeah so this the the master brand and i also want to do it manually here so at that is so let's do some experiment experiment on it okay i will commit this one and push it again okay i refreshed it as you could see you know this time there's no workload is triggered and you know i already successfully pushed it let's check again yeah here but yeah we can manually trigger it for ci workflow and we could manually trigger it here so you can see here yeah we manually do it and the second way to do it is like yeah you do some for example you name it for example our name is here uh, mute java java build build with radio radio for example build with radio and i will create a new branch feature view for example i read and so i will commit to the feature the new branch i just created so at fci workflow update fci workflow I'll commit it and I push it into the origin feature view the new range here push it okay so now you know this is run manually by by me and so let's create a pull request okay let's update the workflow we have pull request yeah and then when I read a pull request yeah so it will check because we define you know when I have a pull request on the main branch on the branch main so we'll do some check before accept it to mark into the, the main branch <laughs> So it will check when you make a pull request and and as you know if this one runs successfully so we could So it's run successfully. So now, yeah, we could mark the pull request. For example, yeah, and this is let's wait out. 
โอเคสวัสดีสวัสดีบิ๊กจูมแมนเรนจ์เฮียปุ่ยเอาท์โอเคโซดัสโซฟอร์ดิสวิดีโอ thank you for watching